our day of filming here. I've got my eye patches on. I promise they are not dirty. <laughs> um, so it'll be super fun to take you guys along with me, give you like a little behind the scenes, what goes into a video, how long does it take, all the deets, all the goods. Give me the goods. So to this point, I have styled the outfits. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. And I have obviously shot for the outfits. Shopping for the outfits for me mostly does occur online. This time I did go in store. In total, shopping for all this probably took about three hours, I would say. I feel like I really need to come on my channel looking like this more because if you guys ever meet me in person someday, like you see me out somewhere, like there is a 95% chance that this is what I'm gonna look like. So, recognize, recognize. <laughs> When I do shop, I don't completely have the style in mind, but what I will say is I do kind of work with a color scheme. Is that the word scheme? No, schematic theme. I work with a color theme, words, you know, words. Meaning like I'm not getting stuff that's just totally off the wall, like neon yellow. Not even sure that that's available at Walmart, but you know what I'm trying to say. Where like, I'm like, what would I even put with that? I have nothing. Where like, as an example, I have a lot of stuff in that like burgundy wine, maroon kind of color. I'm like, ooh, I know I have like a purse that would go with that. I know I have boots. So that's what I mean by that. But I don't really style them when I'm purchasing just as an FYI. We're already sliding down here. What, it, what? Come on, man. Oh yeah, and I need to paint my nails. Ugh, so much to do. Brace yourself because once you see this, you can't unsee it. Oh look, my bed frame is dusty. I basically style them and then I put them in these little piles and then I lay them out. This is my bedroom, by the way. So I'm completely taking over my bedroom here. So what I do is I will take everything that I bought, I bought it, as I like to say. So last night I spent about four hours. I put like all the shirts over here, all the pants, and then I start checking SKUs because I try my best and I know every YouTuber does. We try our best to not feature sold out items. So I check the SKUs, make some eliminations. That's actually what this pile is. This is the no pile, unfortunately. It didn't make the cut. Um, there's not enough stock. Of course, what's going to happen between now and the video goes up, it's like a hope and a prayer that the stuff doesn't sell out. Once I know everything is available and that's my kind of narrowed down situation, I then will go on and start trying the stuff on. And it's kind of, you know, I usually have an idea, but it's kind of trial and error, I would say. You know, that's when I start making these little piles. And this one is gonna be pretty epic, you guys. Laying on the floor here, I have over 25 outfits. Look, my poor little fur babies. That's where they're relegated to right now. I have over 25 outfits. I don't honestly know that I'm going to get to all of them. So I'm going to do my favorites first because I might completely tire out at that point. Maybe there'll be a part two, maybe nothing will happen. I don't really know. Wanted to also show you up here, lashes who can relate. Is that a caterpillar or is that lashes? I'm not sure. Look at the dust, you guys. Ugh. I tried to clean a little, man. I tried. So I have all the tags over here because Walmart has that really cool feature of being able to, you know, scan stuff. There's the hubs. Mm, that was us on New Year's before everything went to crap. New Year's 2020. Um, anyway, that's one of those things that helps you take your camera, that helps you take your camera, that helps you take photos. This is my reminder to put on lip gloss because my ridiculous lips, they just eat lip gloss um, for breakfast. So I always need to be reapplying it. And then I haven't really decided which outfits I want these sunglasses to go with, but I thought I'd kind of decide that once I have them on. So I'm going to try to wear the same jewelry really for every outfit. So, you know, three hours of shopping, four hours of styling. We're about seven hours in so far to this video. I would guess that this video, especially being so large, it's probably going to take me more than 20 hours. But anyway, you guys will see. You guys will see all of that. So next is to get ready. G-R-W-M. Although you're not going to get ready with me. I don't have time to set all that up. But you'll see me when you see me next. I'll be Jen the Real Fluencer. I don't know what I am here, but you know. I'm here. I'm getting ready. I am going to be using the Natasha Denona Glam palette today. I really love cool tones and I always feel the, pur the purdiest and it's a big filming day and I, I want to feel purdy, you know, with a D. So that is what I'm going to be using today. I'll show you my makeup setup. And just a quick plug, if you guys are more interested in some of my beauty stuff, definitely follow me on IG. I have come to notice and realize it's 
really just not that popular here on YouTube with the community, which is fine. Um, but beauty is still a big part of my life. So I film almost every single time I get ready, you know, give little tips and tricks and little mini product reviews along the way on IG stories. So if you follow me on there, you know, that is interest of interest to you, then definitely follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much. This is what we're working with here. Hello. This is um, dirty from yesterday. So who can really give this video a like? Excedrin migraine. Um, if that doesn't set the vibe, I don't know what does. So yeah, this is an impressions vanity. It's an absolute piece of garbage and I don't recommend it. I would not waste your money on it ever. This mirror, did those eye patches do the work? I feel like my under eye looks brighter and gooder. It definitely looks gooder, right? Yeah gooder i'll link them below i don't know i've never used them before makeup is done i just have to do my hair now and i still have to paint my nails dang it i will link some of the hero products makeup products that i use down below if you're interested like my lashes are the ardell double wispies i love these things i need to figure out my her which is a mess i just took it down i don't know probably half up half down today we'll see husband got me this last uh holiday isn't it so cute hang on my little filming room door. All right, so we're about an hour into filming right now. I did get one look done so far. A lot of that's because it takes a really long time to set up the camera. Today we have two cameras. We're filming B-roll. My husband is filming it in my closet actually. And then I'm filming A-roll here kind of in my typical filming room. So I'm kind of going back and forth. And then I'm also doing the flat lay photos here in my filming room. So just trying to be the most efficient, pretty much taking up my entire upstairs here today. <laughs> That's what you guys look like there. That is what I talk into. This is my ring light right here. And then, you know, you see the background of this in the video, which is my wallpaper, which, you know, almost looks like a backdrop, which is kind of cool. This is where we're doing all the B-roll. You can see the lights here. And then this is what you will actually see on camera, which is, you know, me right there. We're having that close because as you guys remember, that is where all the, all the crap is. Fun fact, if you'd like to see a California closet renovation that is not braggadocious, it might be the only one out on YouTube that isn't just like showing you, oh, I have this, I have this. I did one on my other channel, which is Real Design Your Home. I can link it below. We were on a major budget for it and I was excited that we came in under budget. I do a full cost reveal, all that kind of stuff. And it really is just all these money saving tips. If you're gonna go through the process, it's not about a collection of anything I have or anything like that. If you do head over there, I'll put a link to it below. Feel free to subscribe to that channel. I'm trying to get that channel to a thousand subscribers, which would be awesome. And I know a few of you have asked me about that channel. I have certainly not given up on that channel. It's kind of holding right now. Yeah. Um, it's just a lot. Um, all of this is a lot. I know I've talked about it before and then to have another channel, but I have no intention on closing down that channel. I have every intention and in ramping it up at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later. But yes, please don't unsubscribe if you're already subscribed. <laughs> A lot of you guys had said that you really liked the flat lay idea. So I'm doing that so you can see. I mean, it's funny because it's surrounded by mess, but that's not what you see on <laughs> the camera. <laughs> So the progression really is what happens is I put on an outfit, we go film it, we do photos, and then we do the B-roll try-on portion. Then I come over here to this room, film the A-roll while I'm wearing it. I used to do my videos like that. I've kind of gotten away from that. So I'm actually doing that again. I kind of do like that. Film it, talk about it while I'm wearing it. I feel like that gives a better, I don't know, depiction maybe. And then I take it off, put it down here, do the flat lay. And then I'm making a promise to myself that I'm gonna put these clothes away in between all of that because what I normally do is make a ginormous pile. And then you can imagine Imagine what that's like to clean up that pile of clothes at the end of probably like an eight hour filming day. It's like the last thing you want to do. And then usually, you know, I start work on Monday and then it's probably going to sit all week. And then that's just not the vibe. It's not the vibe. It's like in our bedroom. I'm sure you guys understand. <laughs> it's a whole process. <laughs> got done filming for the day it's funny look at my hair the last couple of looks had hats and i'm like so done because it's like midnight on a sunday i have to work tomorrow <laughs> You know, I ripped off the hat and I was like, oh shoot, I need to vlog. So anyway, so we've been filming on and off all day. I am honestly somewhat disappointed, you know, 
earlier, you heard me say about 25 looks. There is absolutely no way. I mean, at this point, I think I maybe did 12 today and that took, I mean, it took hours. I mean, on and off since two. I mean, there was some breaks, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, I mean, hours. I always have such good intentions. I'm sure you guys have maybe noticed that with me. I'm like, I get all these videos out and then just life happens, you know? And you know, my job happens, so anyway. Yeah, so I don't know, I'll be lucky to have 15. So it's not gonna be as epic as I thought, but I tried. I feel like my YouTube slogan should be like, I tried. You know what I mean? Like, I tried. I really did. I do try. Good night. Back at it another day. I'm super annoyed because I really wanted this to be a one and done. So there's going to be two different gens in the video. It is what it is. Okay, so it is Monday, October 18th. I don't know when this video is going to go live. I'm really hoping not more than a week from now. Even though I'm not done filming, I started editing. My husband and I determined that Thursday night is going to be the best night, you know, in terms of when we can get off work and not have too much going on in the evening because, you know, we're going to need several hours again to finish up what I was complaining about last time <laughs> that we didn't finish. So I'll just show you a little bit. I first edit this part of it, which is what you're seeing up here. That's called the A-roll. And I usually like this to be about a minute, but it's funny, but here I'm just going on and on about muffin top and it's kind of funny. So I'll probably let this one go for more than a minute. But anyway, this might actually surprise you. I don't know, maybe it will, maybe it won't, but I really do try to, I know it's like the worst angle, um, very strategically pick how the outfits go in, in a certain order. So what I mean by that is I try to mix in where I'm funny versus um I don't know just different styles of outfits because I truly do have so many different styles probably my like main style is you know just casual but edgy but like I wouldn't want to do five of those in a row and then not appeal to potentially a viewer um whether it be you know certainly my community already but I also wouldn't want to shy away any potential new subscribers because somebody might just be like oh well that's not my style at all I'm just gonna click off and you know of course our goal is to always have you guys watch as much of the video as possible. That's what really pushes a creator and all of that kind of stuff in the algorithm. When YouTube sees like, oh, people are like watching this video and they're staying on this video kind of thing. So I always try to sprinkle in like funny and just a mix of kind of the breadth of which I can decorate an outfit, if that makes sense, to hopefully just try to keep people like, oh, okay, I didn't really like that one, but I do like this one. Anyway, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. And we look in, screenshot this screen I, I really think you should okay definitely adds girth no it is so funny how many times i say girth i mean what am i thinking i'm gonna cut this out though because um this is a sponsored video as you guys have already seen i don't know it's not like a bad word i don't think it's horrible but i'm gonna cut it out to be safe <laughs> It definitely adds width to your hips. Seeing you guys are probably like, Jen, why are you smiling when you're just saying definitely adds width to your hips? It's because I just said girth. And in my head when I was filming, I was like, uh, I probably shouldn't say that. Was laughing to myself inside. And then that's how it came out when I said definitely adds width. These are the things you would never know otherwise. <laughs> Jen here. So it is Tuesday. I got to the lumber gen part and I just, I have to give you guys context. Let's, let's, let's see lumber gen. Let's do it. This is from a wow week, week of Walmart video in December, 2020. The dream of being like, maybe like lumber gen. I feel like my M fell. The concept of almost, you know, I know this is not flannel. I know, I, I can see that. That idea of almost like a flannel shirt, and just so you know, this is actually isn't flannel at all, but this is, this is... This is my lumberjack vision. Okay, a cute little fitted flannel type of shirt and tucked in some cute hiking boots. Okay, that is what I wanted my lumberjack to be. That was Jen trying to explain lumberjack. Yeah. That wasn't my lumber gen vision, so I think I'm gonna return this one. I thought I would just kind of show you guys. I usually kind of decide on like a schematic. Why do I keep using that word? Uh, with like one of the outfits um, in terms of the editing, and then that's what I kind of duplicate. So I'll show it to you. This is the A roll. This is the B roll. So this is the normal try on. This is the zoomed in portion, and then that's the flat lay that you guys liked, and then. 
as the separator, I also have the flat lay. So what I decided to do this time is that's what it's gonna look like. It's like a cartoon. I actually really like that because it gives you like a little bit of, of a preview of the outfit, but you can't technically see it. And then I also picked the music. So it's kind of a uh, mellow music. So that's like outfit number 12. I saw this sweater earlier in the tan. This one is an actual medium. You guys can let me know. Um, I told my husband to not look down on me as much. So hopefully you guys feel like you can see the whole outfit better. If anybody's curious about my software, I use Final Cut Pro is what it's called. And then I make all of my stuff and this is called uh, Canva. They definitely have a free version. This program is so useful. So like you can see some of my other ones here that I kind of gotted started. And they kind of start out like that. I actually kind of double made that for Instagram because it's like once you take the time to do all this stuff, you kind of want to multi-purpose it. At least that's just me. And then this is what the other one looks like. So basically you can see there like I have the tape. So like in the video, this is the vertical B-roll. And then this is me, and I actually have it on photo recall, it's called, which is why you kind of see it big, but then see me. You just print this, pr print it, you download it with a clear background or whatever, transparent background. And then, I don't know, I think you guys also mentioned that you like, you know, all those references and stuff. So I started linking stuff. The linking on a video like this uh, definitely takes well over an hour probably closer to two hours. Um, but what I do is I start a Google Doc so that basically I don't have to wait until it's uploaded to YouTube. And as I essentially check stock, check prices on everything, I'm then simultaneously grabbing the links and putting them in here. And that's why you can see it goes from like two to 10 to 12 because I'm just kind of building it out right now. And so that way kind of when it all is done and comes together, it's like, okay, well at least the links are done, the graphics are done, the pricing is done, and all that kind of comes together at the same time versus me finishing the entire video and then having to spend two more hours linking all at one time, if that makes sense. Hello, we're crooked. I'm hoping that I am trending towards a Saturday upload. And oh, look, I just got some negative comments on a video. That's always fun to get at one o'clock in the morning while you're working on your big long next video. Be nice, people. Be nice. I'm a human. I'm human, you know? <laughs> I just got done filming the rest of the looks. Like I said, I was gonna do it on like a weeknight. It was a crazy night, but we started after work probably around 6.30. There was a dinner break in there and we're wrapping up here at 11.30. So we did eight more looks. That gives a full 20 looks. And I do have some bonus looks for you. So it's not gonna be the full 25, but it'll still be my biggest one ever. So that's very exciting. I didn't get a chance to do the flat lays tonight. That's where I take all the photos and put the prices. You're gonna have to do that tomorrow after work. And then Saturday, I will be in an editing cave probably all day, sun up to sundown. So, so far, our time count, I think we're about 19 hours. I just kind of like did it in my head. And honestly, it's probably more, but we're just saying 19 hours so far into this video. So, yeah, I don't know. Is it going to be a 30 hour video? Let's, let's hope, let's hope. Let's, mm, mm, mm. That's, like a, that's like a work week. Look how cakey my makeup looks. This is. Looks terrible. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's really kind of like lunch, but I slept in today because I was up very, very, very late last night. Just an update. So yesterday I finished the flat lays and I got a couple bonus looks done. So I think at the end of the video, I'm going to be able to have, I think it's four or five, just kind of bonus looks where I will have the coordinating flat lay. That's like the little photo off to the one side with all the prices and stuff. And I'll have just kind of like mirror selfie style footage. Actually, no, I did photos, photo style footage. So that'll at least get me closer to the 25 looks that I was hoping to have. I just did my YouTube community post where I kind of previewed you to you guys one of the looks and showed you, hey, this is coming. It's my biggest Walmart video ever. I'm also vlogging it. Just put that up right now. I'm going to be editing all day. I predict, what do I predict? It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think I have at least 
10 more hours of editing, but we'll see. We shall see. Okay, it is upload day, I think, I hope. Um, I got up super early today. I got up at 5 a.m. I think right now it might be like 7 a.m. I've been editing. I'm actually still in my pajamas. I got up early because I really wanted to hopefully upload it today. Sometimes when you're in your editing cave for 10, 12 hours, time really gets away from me. And I'm really hoping for like a kind of prime time style up. That sounds terrible, but <laughs> as a prime time upload, I think it you know, it definitely helps your video when it gets like clicks immediately. So um, I really want this video to do well, obviously. And it's my biggest video ever. And just so you guys know, when I say stuff like that, it's not because all I care about is views or all I care about is the success of, of a video. I'm obviously here. I think we all know why I'm here, right? <laughs> I'm here for connection. I'm here to fill a void, hopefully in this space and, and provide some representation. But maybe as you've seen through this process, when you put this much time into something, um, you know, you want it to do well. Like it's at this point, it's probably the equivalent of an entire work week. It's seven o'clock on Sunday. And guess what I'm doing? I'm still editing. It is not upload day. It is not upload day. At this point, I hate this video. I hope you guys did like it though, but I hate it. It's Monday night. I think I'm uploading tonight. I think we've made it here, folks. I'm not sure. I'm going to do the final run through. I always do a final run through. We'll show you guys my thumbnail. I did my thumbnail over lunch today. They usually take about an hour. Thumbnails are really important because they're like the cover to your book, right? Like you could have the best video, um, you know, like this video. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but if your thumbnail doesn't entice people to click on it, they're never going to find out how great your video is. They're never going to discover you potentially. Uploading sometimes takes two hours, though. I don't know. We're, we're going to see. At minimum, it'll be Tuesday. It's like the video that never ends. This is my thumbnail that I went with. Earlier on in my YouTube days, I didn't put much time into thumbnails. I really have started to put a lot more time in them and coincidentally, my channel's growing. It could be total coincidence, I don't really know. Just to give you kind of my strategy, I do try to do kind of a different variety of looks. As you can see here, I have kind of late fall, early winter. So I definitely wanted to make sure I had something that represented kind of winter, like boots, you know, this thing, buffalo plaid. This particular video, I don't really have any sort of like fancier, I mean, I use that term loosely, type of an outfit. I guess my whole point in saying all this is I'm trying to show the breadth of what is shown in the video because, you know, if I show all stuff like this and, you know, you're not into that, you'd be like, well, I'm not going to click on that video. And I forgot to tell you, I got 25 outfits and I can't believe it. There's kind of five bonus outfits at the end, but I still got 25. I can't believe it. <laughs> actual launch day launch of the video like what is this a product no it's just a video okay it's funny i was gonna put it live last night as i had aforementioned but it took hours literally hours to upload um it was a 12 gigabyte you guys don't care about this it was a 12 gigabyte file and it took forever to upload approximately four hours so today is launch day i'm actually doing this as a premiere i've never done it like that where you guys get like a notification that it goes live at six p.m. and then yeah I don't know I've never done it like that so we'll see DVD just finished up with the live premiere kind of a thing you guys I have to tell you that was so much fun I was giddy I was absolutely giddy talking to all of you guys. I love that so much. I really want to try to do that maybe for, I don't know, like bigger kind of special videos. Obviously, I'm not going to do it for just any video, but wow, was that so much fun. Look, you guys, the video is trending number one. You love it. Thank you so much for loving this video. Y'all are the best. And with that, I guess it's time to sign off. Thanks so much for joining me in this vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of behind the scenes and kind of what goes into a video. And I truly Really can't thank you all enough for your support every like comment share i know i've said it but you truly help me so much and you are you know the reason why my channel has grown so i can't thank you all enough see you next time